Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna do a and a I'm recording the screen. Alright, so she started with what's your favorite candle scent? This is uh, Chelsea. And I'm my fan, my best friend. Um, what's your favorite candle scent? She said, I said vanilla or coconut? And I says, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? I would say I have to pick somebody that you wouldn't want, you want not that you're not attracted to him, but that you couldn't see yourself with, like, in a relationship. Is yeah. Um, but um, I don't know. I guess Drew Barrymore would be the awesome sister. I think she's a lot like me. Let me get us back in focus. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Am I self-centered? I'm self-centered. My self is centered. Sorry, I'm plugging something in. Okay. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Keanu Reeves or Adam Sandler? Adam Sandler. That's my keys. Or Keanu Reeves. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Or Will Smith. <laughs> How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Between now and 50 years old. Between now and the next five years. But, um, closest case scenario. Alright, let me, let me go into detail. Closest case scenario. This weekend in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, a little further away, maybe two years, maybe two and a half years, and five years. Maybe. But the closest case scenario, and for my heart, like maybe next weekend. We'll just be so in love and go we'll get married in Las Vegas and then have a real wedding later. Even though that's kind of a real wedding. Nice, just what I like. Exactly. How old do you think it would be? Or, wait, 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 closest case scenario, I'm sorry. If you want to 
get on a plane, train, car, friggin' bus, whatever, and be here in the soonest amount of time you possibly can, Carson. And get me, and we can do it here. You can take me off to Las Vegas. We can do it there as as soon as possible. ASAP. If that would be something for you. But I can wait if I have to. I'm good. Because that way, I would be like totally like, I could just have sex. I wouldn't have to worry about the thing where like, I have to wait until we're married and then figure out how to like, tied me over until marriage and then me and Billy, I'll probably want to drop, I'll probably want to ask, I'll probably ask you to marry me every night. <laughs> if we wait until we get married, I'm probably going to ask you every night. <laughs> Please marry me. I just want to have sex with you. No, I don't just want to. But I do. <laughs> okay, do you know a hoarder? No. <laughs> What? <laughs> what was this case scenario? Tonight, we'll get married. Get a person to marry us on you now. And then you can come and be like, he is my territory. He is my property now. Damn, I'm territory and shit. That's why girls are territorial, because the guy is their territory. I'm just going to have to have her give speeches to Jeremy. He, he's an idiot. But I don't think he's going to be bad after this. I think he's going to be a good little friend of mine. <laughs> Jeremy. That guy, he's such a wacky, wacky guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cute, fuck you. Not you, them, or whoever don't like it. <coughs> wow, is that all the questions? Come on, keep it going. Pay attention, stop watching and playing other things. Be here in the moment. I want to have fun, damn it. <laughs> Like, there ain't much we can do but this. that involve two people. We can play video games, but you haven't bought an Xbox yet. That's why I'm saying, like, friggin', you should pay me to make you a computer, and I'll send it to you, and I'll make me one. And you can pay me, you can give me how much it costs. And friggin', we will fucking be able to play games online. And then, like, whatever I figure out about my computer, I can freaking help you uh, vice versa. Can you do a split? Yes, I can. Not the split that's like... Not the split that makes the legs go this way. The split that makes the legs go this way. You can do that one. We're going to have some fun tonight. Carson is going to come join us. I have Carson come and 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 join us. Carson! No! Wait here. Kissing my face. Oh! Oh, there. Oh, wait, do it again. I said I can do a split. Nice question. Bring me the horizon. Can you do a split? I already told you you can do a split, KK. What would, here's a question for you. Alright, okay, you got a question. Cool. <laughs> how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Um, I think it was two years old. I think it was one and a half, two years old. Because I was riding a motorcycle at three. Maybe I learned to ride the motorcycle first. 
As far as my recollection, I think they would have to have known how to ride a bicycle to ride a motorcycle. And then you, at least you got the balance down. How many oceans have I swam in? Um, what? Um, Cocoa Beach. Uh, Cocoa Beach. Myrtle Beach. Daytona Beach. But I don't know. What was that? But I don't know. But I don't know. What was that? How many oceans have you swam? I already swam in one. So two oceans, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. Aren't they all the same ocean? They're all right here on this side. Oh, Florida, but like, all the beaches, like, Melbourne, Daytona, all that is the same water, right? It just goes along. I think it's one ocean. I don't like to swim like too far, and I don't really usually go in stuff. So not really too much. <laughs> I stepped on a sand dollar once, and it was smooth and weird feeling. I jumped out the water, ran across the water. <laughs> I think I literally what, ran across that water. I was like, ooh, ah, ah. It freaked out. So I'll be like on the boat going, yeah, that's, that looks great. <laughs> it's like, I'm just swimming around. This is shark, baby. You want to come in? You want to come out of there? <laughs> so one and a half. Yeah. Something like, oh, yeah, Bahamas. I don't know if that's the same ocean. I think it's just over that way from Florida. But Bahamas. We went snorkeling. I was surprised that went because it was like, you know, well, you don't really know. <laughs> but you figure since you're loud, then it's okay. But, you know, things happen. How many countries have you been to? Um, hey, what's up? And then, yes, I already banned you, robot. Um, <laughs> so countries. I think, wait, Canada is another country, right? And Bahamas is another country? And then our country. So, three, I guess? Bahamas was a trip. We got to take the limousine. That was fun. We didn't get anything cool in it. It was a short trip. And we wanted to get to our hotel quick. See my happy face? Nose. I'm a weirdo. You're fascinated by it. There's only one person here. Anyway, what's the next question? This guy, Job Pearl. He's a four job for a job for a lamp shape. Job for a lamp. Job for a lamp shape. Mm, job for four jobs. A lamp shape. I don't get it. Next question. This video is gonna be very long. It's actually fifty questions. 50 questions on how to fix your Xbox. Buy seven. Is anyone in your family in the army? I was. No one is.
What would you name your daughter if you had one? I named my daughter Taylor. Taylor Ray. And we named her after Taylor and <laughs> uh, Melrose Place. Jeremy, maybe Keanu. Um, Jeremy, Keanu. Jeremy or Keanu. I don't know. That's all I'm coming up with right now. I'll name him badass son of a bitch and then protect the family when he grows up. <laughs> anyway, go on. Go on, go on with it. So we had a person show up and he shows up all the time, but he doesn't do nothing or say nothing but follow me when I'm already following him. So I think that's a robot. Um, what would you name your son? I already asked that question. I'm drinking, you gotta ask another question. What's the worst grade you got on it? I don't remember taking any tests or what the grades were. I remember taking tests. I did take tests, but I don't remember the grades on any of them. I know, like, before I... I was always... I believe where I was in school was, like... I had... Like... Jim... I always had A or A plus. In art, I always had A plus. In history, it was like uh, D or an F or a C. Um, English was like um, English was sometimes an elementary unsatisfactory. So you get a U.S. or some shit like it, and. Um, I think it was like B, C, D in English. Like B, I think if I got the B's, it was because of vocabulary. I didn't pay attention to quotation. I didn't pay attention to like well, certain things. I only paid attention to like words, meanings. I didn't pay much attention to sentiment, synonyms, or whatever. But, um, uh, lunch was always straight A's. Um, science was like a faint B, C, more C, D, maybe once in a while F. And I think in typing I got a C because I never paid attention to punctuation and I, I could write but I couldn't do anything else but write letters like so I don't know. but art yeah I always got an A plus in art and see this is another thing I say is that a lot of times people are considered like you know like you're failing that so you're failing that but it's like what am I doing the best at? Okay, now that you found what I'm the best at, art is my highest grade, then let's focus on that and direct me with that. I may have been more developed in the business side or the, you know, a lot of things. I may have learned a lot more about the things that I really love. So, like, why aren't we focusing more on the kid's passion? making sure that they have basics to back up what their passion is and just constantly always ask them you know this is what you want to do right um i know what would
was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Um, Dukes of Hazard, uh, Battlestar Galactica, um, Dukes of Hazard, Battlestar Galactica, Transformers, G.I. Joe, um, Knight Rider, Nighthawk, um, Will Smith, um, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince, or Fresh Prince Bel Air, um, I watched a lot of Cosby. I don't know if it was my favorite show, though, but, um, oh, as a young child, it was Chips, which was motorcycle cops. I wanted to be a cop when I was young. When they always asked you all the questions, I wanted to be a cop. Because I wanted to arrest my parents. Um, <laughs> My mama still remembers that too. Oh boy, <laughs> you guys can't do that. I'm gonna become a cop, but I'm gonna arrest you so you can get better. All right. Um, <laughs> what did you dress up as? Uh, what was your favorite TV show? What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Um, I believe it was Stormtrooper. I was Luke Skywalker in a Stormtrooper suit. Have you read any of the Harry Potter Hunger Games or Twilight series? Um, I haven't read them, but I've seen Harry Potter, Hunger Games, and the Twilight. I don't know if I've seen all the Twilight. As far as I know, there was two. Is there more than two on that? I think I've seen all the Harry Potters, but um, I didn't live with my daughter. I think if I lived with my daughter, um, I would definitely have a lot more of that in me because like I mean, as an adult I was just on my days off on my five days without her I was just drinking and smoking and listening to music and writing and dreaming about a better life. What would you would you rather have an American I watched all almost all the Harry Potters with my daughter. I watched uh, Hunger Games with her and Watch the, I think at least one of the Twilight. Would you rather have an American accent or a British? Um, I think it might be cool to have a British accent because it's popular. But I really like the English accent. I can understand it, and I know it. Um, sometimes I like Japanese and and other languages like that just because I don't understand them. And I understand too much about the English language and all our bullshit as Americans. I just kind of don't want to know sometimes. Like, like sometimes, like, if somebody was saying something to you and you didn't want to hear it or didn't like what they're saying, you just kind of wish they were talking in a foreign language. So you'd be like, yeah, okay, I don't speak that. <laughs> I can tell when you have to come back because it says you are here every time you come back. Did your mother go to college? She went to college for um, jazz and dance and um, she was an art major. She was a, a rock at kind of, in a sense, the type of dancing she did for shows and things like that. My mom was also a beautician. I wish she would have kept all her skills going, and I kind of hope for her that she learned something about the internet where she could um, create paintings, drawings, anything, and somehow make some money for herself. Are your grandparents still married? All my grandparents have passed away.
that's kind of why I connected with Matthew Lush, too. He was crying. He was like, I never had a grandpa. I, like, cried for a second. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. When I was young, I took judo and um, taekwondo, not taekwondo, it was jujitsu. Judo and jujitsu. I took judo from age, I guess, four or five to eight or nine, and then it was jujitsu from nine to like 14, 15. Because we went to the YMCA, YMCA all the time. We had memberships to the YMCA. Do you know, and they have that stuff like, do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Yeah, this is a Muppet. One of my favorite Muppets, besides uh, the drummer animal, <laughs> and I, I found my own little animal. <laughs> She's a drummer, and if she could actually play the guitar and drum, dude, We'll have a fucking damn, we'll be a, a couple band, and she can help me, um, like, make everything better about, like, whatever, I don't know. Maybe I don't have to make it better, maybe it's the perfect way it is. What's the first amusement park you've been to? Um, uh, Darien Lake in New York. When we lived in New York, we went to Darien like every year. You could camp out, and the camp was right there. So we'd camp out, and you'd meet other people. And I was lucky enough once to meet a girl who never did anything. I was chilling with her and her mom, and I, they asked me questions, and we just talked. And I was interested, totally interested. Oh, this one's cool. And of course, in those vacations, there was always trouble. Mom and Dad, not every vacation, fought all the way there, all the way back. And if they weren't fighting and you were having fun, you know, in the back of the van or whatever, like, cut that shit out. I'm like, okay, we're supposed to be miserable. I'm sorry. 23. <laughs> what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Mm, I guess if I could be all of them, that way I would never, I would always be able to help if I need to help. And um, yeah. but I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe there will be easier ways to do it later on or something. It's like my memorization and stuff. It's just, it's hard for me to go to it and, and do it and dedicate myself to it. But maybe there will be something that helps us later on in the future easier. To, that's why I think that it would be cool, like, if we had our phones and, like, someone started talking to us Spanish and we said, um, you could learn my just the sentence that says, excuse me one second, let me pull up my um, Spanish app. And you pull it out and you click it. And then you, and you say, go ahead. And as he talks, the phone hears it and um, translates it all. And you just like, oh yeah, okay. And then you press the microphone and you speak what you want to speak back to them. And then you press the button again, and it says it to them in um, Spanish. So, um, this is an app that, if I was rich, I would pay somebody to make this app. It's probably something, you know, similar, but I don't know. The way I just said it seemed perfect.
I think later it will be easier to keep your phones charged for a longer amount of time and have it easily charged quick and stuff like that. So, in that, we won't have to worry so much. We should always have that as a companion for language. And what language besides your native language would you like to Okay, do you spell the color as gray or gray? Um, I think I usually spell it E Y, and I don't know. I, I I allow myself a lot of times to spell things wrong and not worry about it because like I'm I don't know. I just don't, I feel like if they can understand it, it's it's okay. It's not the biggest thing in the world. And I kind of get into spelling things wrong just because it looks cool that, you know, it, it don't look like the regular word, but you still understand what it is. I come out with a t-shirt. A t-shirt coming in, or a t-shirt um, name brand. Called misspelled and just like just have cool words on the shirt on the shirts that are spelled wrong. While you're going to get another question, I'm gonna go get a quick beer and I'm gonna pause the video. Um, no, my father was a well, but my grandfather was. all staring at me doing that like it's the coolest thing in the world. No, I never met any triplets. If I did, they never told me. <laughs> I met twins. I met two sets of twins so far. I met the Merrill twins and at work um, a girl I had a sister who was a twin come in with. I have you eating just the right amount that your body needs. I have you eating just the right amount. I have you not bad. I have you always able to get up and move. I have you always healthy and able to play. And be wonderful and furry and always free of fleas and bugs and any problems. Alright, um, I just did affirmations over the cat. No, I don't know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do you prefer Titanic or the notebook? Titanic is a piece of work. Um, the notebook was really good. Um, but I've seen the Titanic a few times. I might go with the notebook just because I've only seen it once. See, you're thinking the same thing I was. I need to like myself. That was a good movie. Oh, I had pulled up a movie for us to watch. You keep on asking the questions, and we'll finish the video, and then I'll pull up the movie. And the movie is Uptown Girls. It's a really good movie. You want to watch Uptown Girls with me? We will, uh, you want, uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. You love Uptown Girls? That's a very, very good, very psychological movie. Another movie I would like to see is 
with Dakota Fanning is uh, um, the one with uh, Sean Penn, where Sean Penn is a handicapped father. Another very good movie. You know, like um, some movies that I watched, I remember you saying that they're boring, but like if you could actually see that movie in a movie theater, like say you didn't want to see any other movies and you just pick green fried tomatoes and you sat there in that, that theater with all those the loudspeakers and big ass screens, you get into it. You get into the story of it. really interesting. I like the way they made that movie. There's another movie I can't remember the name of. I like the way they made it and it was like a bunch of other people's lives and it wasn't like them together but it was scenarios of other people's lives in uh, kind of like a soap opera does. We're on 29. Yeah. That was a lot of questions. Okay, then we got 21 more. I have an iPhone X. iPhone X just gives me a phone and says, make us a good video. Wouldn't that be cool if someone said, here's a computer. Here's a laptop. Here's this. Here's that. Make us a good video. Here's a video phone. Make us practice making us a video. About us. What can you do? I'm about to move to the computer TV. Okay, cool. I'm in front of my TV. I could hook up the cable and probably see some movies. I think some free movies on them, but it's not hooked up the internet, so I don't like the TV. The TV should be able to hook up and then like just have a site you go to or something. That way it's on your computer. But I don't know. It was I could watch so much stuff. Right there on the internet. And the news comes by you either way. You can run from the news. It'll always find you. You'll be sitting there and be like, man, fuck. Really? Oh my God. And you just be like, I have that being better. I have everybody taking care of it. I'm about to move to the computer TV. Okay. Um, for the video's sake and other people's sake, I am drinking. And I tend to get bored and... and after a couple seconds, I'm like looking for the next question, and I start reading the last one as if there's a new one, hoping that the new one comes up, and then usually get like halfway through the sentence that I just read that one. I'm about to move to the computer TV. Look okay, at cool. See? I'm probably going to read it four more times before she gets back. I never knew they made computer TVs. That's kind of cool. So. Anybody want to watch me pour more beer? Beer in my chalice? No, wait until the more is gone. That way I can do the long drip. 30. Have you ever been to Oligar? Yes, I have. And the Alfredo is the biggest of the bum. It blew up in my mouth and my... Wow. I really liked it. The only thing I have for a fact for Olive Garden is the back of the house is usually a complete big sign. And sorry. But when I used to work for Smoky Bones, they used to send me over for trash bags and I go through there 
kitchen and oh my freaking god the place is just so dirty like shit all over the place like wow really I wonder what it looks like clean just saying they do have really good food though I didn't see any rats or anything so it was good but I love Oligarch and I probably think that not every restaurant's like that. We probably have restaurants with the clean freaks, and then restaurants that are run by the dirty freaks, and then restaurants that are like mediocre, or whatever. Who are you listening to? Did you live there? Every restaurant's like that. Okay, 30. Have you ever been to Algar? And I have too. I just told you I've been to Algar. It's a massive question. <sighs> It's a video. Get over it. I love you guys. Don't forget to watch other videos. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to be a product. I actually belong to um, KB Toy Stores. I'm a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you belong to anywhere else? <laughs> yeah. I had this one air where I had this one warehouse. And <laughs> it owned me and I didn't like it, so I left. And he was like, but I own you. I was like, yeah, but you, you lost your chance, man. You, you, know, you can own me all you want. I'm not staying. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Um, Nicole. My mom wanted a girl. She said I was supposed to be a girl. That fucked with me for a long time. I was like, really? That sucks. Why? Why was I supposed to be a girl? I'm not a girl. I told my mom she was supposed to be a lot nicer. <laughs> You were supposed to be good, and you were supposed to be a great mom. So I was, and like, I know you were, but you weren't perfect. Next question. If you have a nickname, what is it? I don't. I have a rap name, Shane. No, expense. Sorry. Yeah, expense. Don't worry, I'm woke. I need more markers. Who's your favorite person in the world? Carson Nicole Panagos! Would you rather live in a rural like a ruler? Would you rather live on a ruler or a compass? Rural rural suburb. What's so rural? <laughs> That's funky sound. <laughs> I guess suburbs. Oh no. Would it be rural if I lived in one of those cool ass like hotel condo kind of looking things? Like downtown Orlando there's this giant building that goes upward and it's glass. And there's apartments in it, and you go in, and it looks really cool. I don't know what that is, but out of those two, I would think suburbs. What the hell is a rural area? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
well-known suburbs. Not, not farm material. I like the city. I'll go make a movie in the suburb in the world. Like, let me use your farm for the weekend. Here's a thousand dollars. We're gonna eat some corn. Is here. I don't know. Can you whistle? Do you sleep with a night light? No, but I do sleep with all my lights on. <laughs> I don't have to with Bay because I won't. I'll have somebody with me. She'll keep me safe in the dark. And you know how she keep me safe? Because I want to protect her. I won't care so much about myself. If it was myself, I'd be like, <laughs> what do I do? But because I have her, I'd be like, I kill it. What is it? What's going on? I will fix it. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, tell me the future is all about Carson and, and I will like, make it that way and I will hump your leg. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I have weirdness inside of me that I don't understand. Do you eat breakfast every morning? If I had money, <laughs> pretty close to it. If, when I had um, food stamps and I had my food all the time, I would eat breakfast in the morning, but it wasn't like a ritual because I don't really have anybody to like eat with. And, like, and But if I had someone who wanted to eat every morning, then yeah, I would be trying to get up every morning. A lot of times, if I knew she liked breakfast and stuff, or whatever, I knew, you know, the knowledge, or whatever you need to know. I'd probably try to wake up and be like, you know, make her something, look up. It's my dream to wake up, find something really cool, vegan on YouTube, make, make it for her. And she's like, wow, that's really good, babe. <laughs> yeah, you think it's worth a, a kiss? For really long, that one. <laughs> Almost done, and then I'm gonna ask you a question, one question that'll be like the best question you ever had asked. I don't know what it is, I'll make it up when the time comes. Carson, you get your ass over here and kiss me. My lips are gonna go rob a bank. I don't know what that means. Like, it's gonna go rob a kiss bank. I'm so beautiful. Look at my hair. My hair is so good. That's so. I'm glimmer like glam. I am the. the Neanderthal of glamour. What medical conditions do you have? I was a blue baby. That's it. And I'm human. My biggest problem. My biggest condition is I'm human. And I react to the alcohol in the spirit. How many times have you been in the hospital? Been to the hospital? Okay. When I was young, I got a handlebar on my bicycle through my cheek. I had stitches. Um, before that, when I was baby, as blue baby, I had to be rushed from the 
from New York Hospital to the Syracuse Hospital. Um, when I was in the Army, I had called out um, dehydration and I had I, I had to go to the hospital. I had IVs of potassium put in me. Um, when are you counting? I lost track. Um, oh, um, I fell asleep at the wheel working a third shift job and hit a dump truck and. I banged my knee up and the ambulance took me to the hospital and then they made me limp home. They didn't do anything. They looked at me and charged me for the ambulance ride. And I was like, I felt like I was suckered into it. Like, I should have just fucking tried to, whatever. I, I was already closer to the house where I wrecked. <laughs> Should have been like, nah, I'm good, I'll just walk home. Um, but, uh, yeah, I saw Finding Nemo. Everybody's seen Finding Nemo. If they haven't, I'm gonna find them. I'll find you on the internet if you haven't seen Nemo. Me and Chelsea will be to your house. Well, we'll help you. We're bringing Nemo, yo. Get ready for the revolution. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You're funny. I hate people that wear eyeliner on the inside of their eyelids. You can't see it. Where do you buy your jeans? Ross? I haven't bought any jeans in a while. Wait, yeah, I did. I bought my teal jeans at Ross. And Dee Dee's. Dee Dee's and Ross. Not Dexter's Laboratory Dee Dee. Carson, are you watching? I love you very, very much. Mm -hmm. Feel the vibrations of my lips going through the universe and landing when you're recording. Feel my fingertips going through your head. Oh. I want to be weird. What's the last compliment you got? I was at work and I told a customer. I'm sorry, and they said, no, you're fine, and I said, that's the best compliment I got all day. I think, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember much unless it's like, but I remember that. I always remember that. I, I, that's why I used to like doing whatever I was doing, because like, I'd bump into people and be sorry, and they'd be like, oh, no, you're fine. I'd be like, yeah, thank you. I like that. That's good. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? No. I hardly ever remember my dreams. I've only remembered actual dreams. <clears throat> One where I was kissing Carson. Or Carson. One, I was in love with Kate. I had one where Kate come up to me. And I was sleeping. I woke up. In the dream, I woke up. And... Kate's face was right in front of me, just going, and I was like, and I woke up, and I was like, fuck, <laughs> and Carson, I had a dream where she was, she was walking up to me, and she only got like quarter of the way of the distance between us, and the, I woke up, and that was it, and then like, other dreams of her are just like I'll get like little kisses and that's about it and I'll wake up it'll be like boom all of a sudden like two minutes before I wake up um, Carson shows up and kisses me and I wake up and I'm like fuck me but I think there's more to it that I don't get I think there's more that I don't remember I can't tell you if I was asleep. 
I know that my ex-wife would always say that in my sleep I'd say girls, and I don't remember having any dreams about girls, but I do know this. I quit masturbating for four months once, and I started, after like a month, two months, I started having dreams where like, all, I guess every attractive image I ever had was like kissing me, and I was like, just kind of like, oh my god, and then, <laughs> like, fuck it, oh, this is a lot, oh shit, it's overwhelming, and then I wake up, or no, I don't, yeah, yeah, at that time, but with my ex, I didn't remember any of it, she'd just be like, she'd punch me in my sleep, and she'd be like, I'd be like, what the fuck you punched me for, she's like, you were sleeping, I like I know that she's like you were saying like girls you're all you just say is girls 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 and I'm like what I'm like what if she dreamt I was saying that woke up and then punched me what if I wasn't saying that I don't know how do I know I was saying that? and I don't remember the dream so like. I know girls are always on my mind, and every girl I ever went out with, any girl I've ever wanted, I know there's a reminiscence of them in my head, things that I don't really get, and I know that's why I feel like when I look at Carson, she's like, all of them together in some way, like, her quirks, and her looks, and her eyes, and her hair, and her shape, and her, just everything about her is kind of like a little bit of this person, a little bit of that person, like a little bit of all of them, she's like a little bit of Kate, she's a little bit of, you know, like, whoa, she's a little bit of my, my, the model I went out, went out with, she, and she's like, into it. Um, do you usually remember what flavor tea do you enjoy? Mint? Like, I think it's like the mint kind. Um, have you ever cried and just... You know, I didn't see the tea one. How many pairs of shoes do you currently have? One, two, three, four. My work shoes. Five. Six. Seven. On shoes I don't wear. About seven. And I have one, two, three pairs of chucks, one pair of Ds, one pair of clogs from work, and two pairs of old uh, work shoes that are really beat up, and one pair of work boots. How many pairs? Okay. What religion will you raise your children to practice? Um, there's a God, there's only one God, and He's the High God, and He's Elohim, and El Shaddai, and Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Je Jehovah Jesukindu. Um, he had 12 disciples, He's in the Bible, and if you share yourself with the Bible, you're, you're sharing, you're spending time with, with God, and God expects us. To learn to forgive everybody for everything that we possibly can, but yet to fight fights and to take what's ours and all that kind of good stuff. There's only one God. But not to disrespect other people if they believe in the God, not to make, not to go in and cause a bunch of problems or whatever because of that or whatever, but if they ask you, something then you give them the best answer you possibly can so they will have a, a good example of a person who worships one God. What religion will you raise your children to practice? Uh, I already answered it. I think we knew, and but it was never an emotional thing. 
I don't think we cared because our parents had money and we got things and that's all we really cared about. And I say that in a sense of like, freaking as a kid, you kind of think that your parents should be this way. Your parents aren't this way. You go stay with a friend and their parents are nicer, do something their parents do, and you wonder why. And But you get a lot, but you don't get some of the things you want. And it's just confusing as a kid because you don't really know. You know, you, if you don't get more love than you get the things, then... I, I think in a family, you gotta give more love than you give the things. And, like, if you're gonna give a lot of things, you have to give as much love as you give things. You can't just leave your kid alone with a bunch of things. Um, how old were you when you found out this industry? Why do you have a Tumblr? Because it's like having my own website. And you can, like, actually, if. I wanted to um, to share um, stuff with Carson personally and privately. I could put a passcode on my blog that only she could get into if I gave her a password. And that's pretty cool. Um, and also, it's just there's a group of people there. And when you're trying to promote yourself, what you want on platforms, and so you put yourself as, uh, as many as you can that you might be able to understand how it works and how you can use it to leverage yourself as a YouTuber or whatever it is you're doing. So that is it. Those are a lot of questions. I think I did very well. I think I passed in flying colors. I think my reward is Carson's going to show up, knock on the door with a large Papa John's pizza. And as soon as I open the door, she's going to be like, Shane. I'm going to be like, I just brought a pizza. Fucking it. And she's going to be like, Shane. And I'm like, what? She'd be like, just answer me one question. A pizza or me? And I say, you. And she's like, you answered right. And she throws the pizza over the railing. And she pushes me down in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the doorway on the floor. And she starts making out with me. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. And she's like, don't say the F word in the same sentence with God. They're like, I love you. <laughs> You're cool. <laughs> Even though you don't care. <laughs> Carson. Okay, since we're still on video, I'm going to add a sick fact that everybody at some point likes a lot. The only reason it's sick is because it's out in the open and I said it live. Okay, the tongue. Don't you just, when you're making out with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, Do you ever suck on their tongue? Do you like that? I mean, is that kind of cool? It is, I always thought it was kind of I was. I had a girl who was sucking her arm. I was like, wait, she's going to suck my tongue out of my throat. Wait, what is she doing? But she was cool. And I liked it. I was like, ah. It's weird, but it's in the video and it's awkward. And it's shot from the side, and you're like, whoa, what was that? Did he just talk about sucking tongues, really? Exactly. Have a great day. Video's over.